Did you know that the Texas Rangers faced a serious threat from a ferocious Comanche leader known as the Iron Jacket, who was literally unbeatable? Seriously! He wore an armor made of iron which protected him from any attack. Even the Texas Rangers have mentioned this. So did he defeat the Texas Rangers? For some years, the Texas Rangers and the Comanche Indians have been at odds with the Comanches invading white settlers and attacking travelers and paths that traverse their country. The Texas Rangers, a law enforcement body founded in 1823, were responsible for keeping the territory safe and orderly, and they considered the Comanche incursions as a direct challenge to their power. The Texas Rangers had better weapons, better training, and were able to use their knowledge of the terrain to their advantage. On the other hand, the Comanche Raiders were skilled horsemen and fierce warriors who were able to resist white settlement for many years. The Comanches were a proud and independent tribe that had lived for generations on the Great Plains. They had long fought against white colonization on their territory, and their raids were frequently motivated by a desire to safeguard their way of life and customs. There were several battles fought between the Comanche Raiders and the Texas Rangers. Some of the notable ones are... Number 1. The Battle of Plum Creek, August 12, 1840 Following the Council House fight in 1840, a party of Comanches commanded by the Penateca Comanche war chief Buffalo Hump, warriors from his own band, and allies from different other Comanche bands, plundered from West Texas all the way to the sea. These Comanches were enraged at the events of the Council House, in which Texans slaughtered the Comanche chiefs after raising a white peace flag. Number 2. Battle of Little Rogue Creek, May 12, 1858 Also called the Battle of Antelope Hills, it was a series of three distinct encounters that took place on a single day between the Comanches and the Texas Rangers. The Comanche War Party had been raiding settlements in central Texas and had taken numerous captives. Captain Walker and his rangers were dispatched to track down the Comanche and rescue the captives. Iron Jacket was a prominent Comanche warrior who played a significant role in the Battle of Little Rogue Creek. His name was most likely derived from his propensity of entering combat wearing a Spanish iron armor, which shielded him from most light weapon fire. Iron Jacket was killed after repeatedly riding down the fire line of rangers and Tonkawa mocking them. Many historians believe the armor that shielded him from light weapons fire simply could not protect him against Tonkawa's buffalo rifle, Jim Pockmark. Despite the Comanche's bravery, the Battle of Little Rogue Creek was a significant victory for the Texas Rangers. The Rangers were able to rescue all of the captives taken by the Comanche and kill many of their warriors, including Iron Jacket's brother, who was reportedly killed in the battle. Number 3. Battle of Pease River December 18, 1860 The Battle of Pease River was a significant battle fought between a group of Texas Rangers led by Captain Sol Ross and a Comanche war party led by Chief Pita Nokona on December 18, 1860. The battle took place on the banks of the Pease River near present-day Crowell, Texas. The Comanche War Party had been raiding settlements in North Texas and had kidnapped several white captives, including Cynthia Ann Parker, a young girl who had been taken captive by the Comanche several years earlier. Captain Ross and his rangers were tasked with rescuing the captives and bringing an end to the Comanche raids. The battle also marked the beginning of the end for the Comanche as a dominant force on the Great Plains. Number 4. Battle of Buffalo Wallow, September 12, 1874 This battle was fought between a group of Texas Rangers led by Captain J.A. Brooks and a Comanche war party led by Quana Parker. The Rangers caught up with the Comanche at Buffalo Wallow Creek near present-day Higgins, Texas. The Comanche were well armed and had taken up a defensive position behind a large boulder formation. The Rangers, outnumbered and outgunned, launched a frontal assault on the Comanche position. The battle was also notable for being one of the last major conflicts between the Texas Rangers and the Comanche, as the Comanche were rapidly losing their ability to resist the encroachment of white settlers and the U.S. government. While the Comanche were able to resist their settlement for many years, they were ultimately defeated by the overwhelming military might of the United States government. Today, the Comanche people continue to exist as a federally recognized tribe, while the Texas Rangers have evolved into a modern law enforcement agency that serves the state of Texas. The history of their interactions remains a subject of study and debate among historians and scholars.